Hello, and welcome back to Ask a News Worker. In this video, we're going to talk about reporters. What is a reporter? It's a fairly essential thing, fairly crucial thing in the news business. What is a reporter? Who is a reporter? What counts as a reporter? Well, a reporter, at its most essential, at its most basic, is just a person who is passing along information that they got from somewhere else. That's what reporters generally do. They talk to someone or they listen to someone, they record something, and they pass it along to the audience, to the news readers, the news watchers, the news listeners. A reporter, fundamentally speaking, is just a person who passes along information that they got from somewhere else in a media context. If they're working for a news agency, a news reporter is someone who finds out what's going on somewhere with something and then tells you about it. So in some ways, they're also a repeater. Reporters are repeaters. They're repeating things that they've heard elsewhere because you weren't there, you weren't close to it, you didn't know what was happening, and they're filling you in. Reporters are effect effectively a professional class of people who are out there telling people what happened, where, how. Why is a harder one to answer, but they'll at least tell you where, how, when, all those other details. In journalism schools, they'll often teach reporters. You're asking the what, the where, the when, the how, the why, if you can, as much why as you can possibly extract. Again, the why is a, is a difficult one in general. Why is a, an eternally hard question. But fundamentally speaking, a reporter is just a person who's passing along information from somewhere else. Now, could the reporter pass along information that didn't come from anywhere, that just maybe began with them? Yes, unfortunately, that can happen. It shouldn't happen. In the most professional situations, reporters should not be passing along information that they didn't get from somewhere else. If they're reporting from a scene, if they're reporting from a press conference or from a particular area, they should only be reporting stuff that actually happened. But unfortunately, there are cases sometimes where reporters uh, embellish or add or throw something else in there. It shouldn't happen. Again, it's not professional. It's not ethical. It's not correct. But it does take place because remember, a reporter is a person between you, the news consumer, and the event in question. They're a middle person in effect. And because of that role, they have a tremendous amount of power in some ways. They can control the narrative. They can control the understanding of the event. If you learn about an event through a reporter, you're learning about it through them. You're learning about it filtered through their perception and through their statements. They were there, you were not. So you're trusting them on a level to pass along everything that actually happened. But unfortunately, that doesn't always take place. Sometimes reporters don't always mention every single thing that happened at the thing they were reporting on because they maybe didn't notice, they didn't know, or because perhaps they didn't want to pass it along. There are cases where reporters decide to hold things back because they don't feel maybe the public should know about it, they're not comfortable with it, or maybe they directly want to suppress it. So what is a reporter? A reporter is fundamentally a person who is repeating information or passing along information that they got from somewhere else. But because of that unique position, you might be able to already tell that there's an opportunity to insert things in that maybe weren't at the original location, weren't at the original news event. I sort of hinted at this in my other video on news conferences where a news conference will take place, reporters will attend and report on them, but they don't necessarily make reportage, which is the product of a reporter, reporting, reportage. They don't necessarily make reports that include every single thing that happened or was said at the press conference. They'll only report on what they feel is essential to report upon. And that can cause problems because sometimes people might say, well, hey, there was something said at that press conference that could have been news that you could have made into news, but you decided not to. And they might say, well, I didn't think that was newsworthy. We'll get that going in another video at some point. What is newsworthy? We already kind of covered what is news, but what is newsworthy? What makes something newsworthy? 
why would something be in the news to begin with? What makes it newsworthy? We'll get into that in a separate video, but reporters and editors and publishers all collectively decide what is newsworthy and what they think is worthwhile to put into the public press, into the public domain. To publish something is to make it public so that people can see it pretty much everywhere, anywhere they know the language, anywhere they have access to the information, and reporters play a crucial role in that. So again, to summarize, a reporter is just a person who's passing along information from a source, from an event, from a location. They're not supposed to add in anything extra. They're only supposed to be faithful to the facts as they found them, as they see them. Unfortunately, that doesn't always happen. There are ethical lapses. Sometimes there are malicious intents, people who want to get something into the news stream, into the media that maybe isn't already out there. They can use that as an opportunity to, to do that. Being a reporter, you can say, oh, we, we have a source, or they don't even necessarily have to say they have a source. They can just put it in there and people go, oh, well, the reporter said it, so it must be true. Remember from other videos I've posted and others that I'll get into in future too, that reporters can sometimes get bad information that maybe they don't even know is bad. They'll publish it. They'll include it in their report. People believe it, and it turns out to be false. That can happen too. So a reporter has a fair amount of power. They're the middle person between events that are happening in the world and the public at large who do not work in the news, who are not attending these events, these events directly. They rely on the reporter to tell them what happened. And you might have had a situation yourself, whoever is watching or listening to this, where you were at something, an event, an incident, a tragedy, a crisis, a concert, any sort of thing, you experience it directly your own way. And then you read some reporting on it that was not quite the same. It was a little different. It was sort of there. It was sort of accurate, but there were things that were left out. There were things that were included for some reason that maybe you wouldn't have included or you didn't really understand why they were included. That's because the reporter decided to include different things in their report than maybe you would. You both witnessed the event, you both took in the experience, but they wrote about it. They made a report based on different things, based on specific select things within that experience that they thought was worth reporting. It's kind of like how people will go to see a movie together. They'll all watch the same movie, maybe next to each other in the movie theater, but they'll come out with different impressions. Some people will like the movie. Some people will not like the movie. Some people think it's great. Some people think it's horrible. Everyone saw the same thing. Everyone watched and listened to the same thing, but they have different impressions upon the event, different impressions of what happened. It's the same thing with reporting. When a reporter goes to a news event, goes to the scene of a crime or the scene of an unfolding news situation, they are going to be filtering that through their own perspective because they're human beings. That's one thing that we'll be running through pretty much every video I do is that the news is made up of human beings and therefore has the same flaws, biases, and perceptions that many human beings do. It's the product of a human mind. The news is the product of a human mind, of, of human creation, and therefore there will be issues, there will be differences in how certain news items are created. So reporter is a repeater. In some cases, they're supposed to be, unless they're doing a research piece, something a little deeper. But at, a, at the most fundamental level, a reporter is someone who's passing along information to the public from someone else. And they really only should be passing along what they got, what they found. But sometimes they add a little bit extra. And we can get into that in another video in more detail. Thank you again for watching. Ask a news worker if you have any comments, questions, anything at all. Please write me or make a comment below. Until next time.